so we're gonna grab this rainbow scale that's back here oh you little ripper tie you found a fair dinkum rainbow scale when you find enough take them to the bunyip elder at rainbow cliffs now see that cutscene growing up always confused me because there there is no bunyip elder in rainbow cliffs you just have to go out to the stand um what did you walk in the park like there, there's the place that you put all the talismans and when you get them all you know it, it automatically activates the cutscene i believe but it just you know, he's not in existence. I wish that he was a character to talk to. Yeah. And so. <laughs> yep, man, Cap HD. Hey, at least he's smarter than Dennis. Dennis is something else, man. This time, that truck has broken down at the end of the forest road. But if that isn't bad enough, I spotted But dude, Murray's got a bird brain. That was I was a little late on that joke, but oh well. I'm on my way. Dennis is. And then somehow he becomes mayor, and then, like. Just. How all that happens, I don't understand. Mayor, he becomes the commander. Or the general, I guess. get stressed during the games. <laughs> oh, hello. I was looking at chat and uh, got distracted. Did not see him right in front of me. <laughs> hey, he's in a robe because he wants his hot bath, man. You know, he's just, he's chilling, he's relaxing like a mile from his house in a robe because he wants a bath, because, you know, that's smart. Um, over here. Yep, it is. Grab you. I don't fully understand Dennis's character, which is fine, you know. He is a he is an interesting character and in 3 he's uh he's pretty interesting. Like I enjoy his presence. It's a good comedic like relief point. Um for a game that's already supposed to be pretty funny, so I enjoy it. It's just I don't fully get it all the time. Yeah, Lenny's pretty funny, um, especially like after you beat him. He's just like, "Oh, you you beat the ish out of me, man! You beat the ish out of me! I'm your friend now." It's like he's scared to get more beat up. So yeah, okay. I was like, I believe it's down here where I want to go. Oh, okay. Um, I 
Whitney's kind of an oaf, and I wish that he was in more areas in the game. Like, after you beat him the first time, he'd like, show up and help you out. But he is not much sad. What are you? You're a pie? Okay, let me get out of the mud. See, I really enjoy 3D platformers, man. Okay, we'll go up here. Let me ask you, what's your favorite uh, genre of game? Before you tackle this water slide, there are a few things you need to know. You can speed up and duck under the logs by pressing the bite button. RPGs? And RPGs are good. What what kind? Do you like classic turn based some some like real time combat? What you know? Final Fantasy, like old school or or some of the newer ones, like maybe like Skyrim, the Xenoblade series, Zelda stuff, what like what kind of RPGs? Turn-based RPGs. Yeah, I enjoy a turn-based RPG, but like I can only do it for so long because then I'm like, um, let's get these leeches out of the way and talk to dude here. I can only handle turn-based for so long until I'm like, okay, I've been grinding through this area enough. Um, I need a favor, mate. There's a flock of cave bats in there. Cave bats. Except driving games, never really cared for them. I enjoy some of them. I really enjoyed um, some of the PS2 Need for Speeds. Those were oh, hello, floating frogs. I forgot that that's a thing. Um. PS2 Need for Speeds, um, I really enjoyed. Um, but any like true simulation RP or not RPG, um, racing game, I'm kind of over it, you know. Um, some of the weird ones, like I had a NASCAR game for the PS2. I think it was like NASCAR 2005. Um, you could like turn around and go backwards, and. Um, it would like take off the people that you're racing against and they'd like send you messages being like listen you wrecked my car like through this race i'm gonna sue you and you could like like be like nah man and it would just make him more angry so things like that i didn't mind it was kind of amusing burnout yeah and like the uh ar arcade style like party ones that you can do i i've always enjoyed a mario kart if i have people to play it with like, I'll enjoy playing through the first time and just, like, playing the levels, um, through the maps, courses, seeing the new ones and stuff like that, and then I can really only enjoy it with people. But, um, I don't play too many standard racing ones. I tried to get into, um, the PS3 Need for Speed Most Wanted, thinking, okay, it's gonna be, like, the most wanted on the PS2, I'm gonna love it, I'm gonna enjoy it, I'm gonna play through it, nah. Fighting games. Yeah, I enjoy the Smash Brothers series when I'm not playing against people who are like trying to play competitively. Because if people are trying to play competitively, it won't even get into the next Smash. Yeah. See, I'm looking forward to the next Smash because I enjoy playing it with people when I when we aren't playing competitively. When we're just like, okay, this is uh. This is just casual, playing for fun, you know, anything goes. Items on or off, don't care. Um, but when things start getting competitive and like they're trying to like not just chill and play and they're like getting into that attitude, I'm just like, nah, I'll, uh, I'll peace out this time, man. And I get it, some people uh, enjoy playing for wins and competitive, you know, every man their own, every person. 
Um, my girlfriend, she uh, she loves survival games. Survival games, uh, you know, they aren't really for me. Um, but I respect it. It's a genre that uh, that a lot of people love. You know, I can like play some Minecraft, but um, you put me in a game of like Don't Starve or, or Rust or something without her to, to kind of guide me through it, it ain't happening. So. But I do enjoy like Don't Starve Together or something with her. Um, those games I've, I've enjoyed, so. If she's kind of there to, for me to bounce ideas off of and for her to bounce ideas off of me and stuff like that, you know. See, I don't have friends. Oh, I'll be your friend, man. I'll be your friend. We're chill. But now I, uh, I get you. It's it's hard for me because I'm in college, so I don't always have a lot of time. Like any free time I have goes into, um, at least until a little bit recently because the semester's winding up. Um basically homework and generally homework while I'm hanging out with my girlfriend so it's like when we're hanging out we normally just have something playing in the background like a, an anime or a, or a comedy routine on Netflix or something but I'm gonna die is good. No! I, death warp to the back? Yeah, sure, but no! Yeah. It's like death warp it, but no! Um, grab full pie. Warp back up. And then back down. So, I have never tested this in any kind of actual way, uh, but growing up, when this game like first came out, my brother and I always thought two things um, about different types of rings. Is one, you could fly farther with different ones activated, and you could go down these things faster with different ones activated. I don't think either of those are true. Uh, It'd be kind of funny if it was. Um, so I've always gotten in like the habit of when I'm having to like glide long distances, I will. Um, I think we use the kaboomerang. Yeah, it's like it's not true, and it's like mashing. Um, what is it? The the B button or A button or something in Pokemon? It's like it's been proven through game code that it's not true, but some people have just done it. So like gliding, I'll use the kaboomerang for some reason, like it's got the most surface area. Um, and for going down these things, I'll use the zoomerang, because I'm like, it's zoom! Gotta go fast! Um. So, that, that's... That looks like helicopter props. <laughs> yeah. So, I've, I've gotten in those habits. Okay. Now, I always suck at getting this. It's when he goes that the first time, and then I can get him, right? Yeah. I've always sucked at getting the right distance on that. Mr. Bilby? Mrs. Bilby? Hi, Granny! Oh, 
Oh my god. So, uh, I said a little bit ago, I'm, I'm in college to study view game programmer and we're doing a couple of different team projects as our final and uh, one of the other programmers on my team I, I guess we're doing a, a cooperative pro project with uh, the designers and programmers it's like okay cool uh, we can do a, a fairly good game right not as much <laughs> it's a bit more difficult than you'd imagine because the way that it's kind of working now is, okay, they tell us what to do and we do it. It's not really a thing they can get around, so it kind of sucks. But, um, you know, it's it's how the structure of the class kind of fits. Oh, I didn't touch that. Oh, um, crap, that one, that one was my stupidity. One of my fellow programmers, uh is still working on some stuff for the final that's due next week and the designers are, are getting a little bit oh come on oh well good thing I did spawn here I missed that um they're getting a little bit pissy which is you know semi reasonable it's it's due for us on Friday it was due for them today because you know whatever and they're still graded on our stuff and us implementing their stuff so it was like really dumb so they can get a lower grade because our due date's later. Um, the professors obviously didn't talk very well together. Um, so we have all that. And one guy was like, why is this stuff not implemented yet? One of the designers and my fellow programmer was like, because I've lost control of my life. And um, we're having to do a networked game, which is, uh, you have no idea how complicated. Well, you might. I don't know what you do. Um, what you've studied, you know, what you do for a living and stuff like that. Networked games are. are a pain, man. Um, that's not gonna get him. Yeah, didn't think so. Okay. Grab you, you should show up. I'm not gonna hit him. I'm a programmer, but business stuff, not games. Yeah, I'm studying to be a game programmer. Networked game programming. Thanks, Habes, for what yeah. you did. Well, I already have all the achievements in the game, so. By the way, I found this at the creek. You want it? Shoot, Ripper! Well, okay. Yeah, I went through and got all the achievements back when the achievements first came out for the game. Um, and just gradually picked them up as they released a few more, so. That one was kind of a, a pain in my rear, because I would miss, um, because I'd get greedy. Yeah. We learned Shadow's name. Alright. Gimme. Gimme, gimme. Alright, I'm gonna grab you. I'm gonna grab this down here. What are you, a pie? Don't need you, but oh well. Alright, and then I have a uh, time attack, right? That's it? Yeah. Where are you at? There's one picture frame in here somewhere. Yeah, there it is. I know where a decent amount of them are, but if they're a pain, I'm not going to do them. Uh, and time attack, I believe I... Do I just go back to the slides at this point? Or is it down here? Yeah, no, it's down here. Okay, cool. Let's you and me race, bro. I'm racing you. Like I said, it's, it's been a year. It's been a year. No, in one level it's not near the start, I don't think. What am I thinking? What level am I thinking of? Um, 
in um, the second snow level, uh, just beyond the black stump or whatever. Beyond the black stump is uh, down at the bottom, right? Yeah. The, the second snowy level. Yeah. And... I thought it was. It's, uh... You have to race down from the top. Oh, the thing for it's at the start? Okay. Then I guess I don't know. I might be confusing on where you start them and when you actually activate it, so... Um...